Hi everyone, how are you? I'm Abel and welcome back to my channel. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to feel the cold to weather. And while I was seeing the work of artists that I admire on Instagram, I found this image on the account of Art Splash by Nayara Oliveira, and I saw this illustration of a cabin in the middle of a winter forest. By the way, where I live, it's not nearly as half as cold as in this illustration. However, I was inspired enough, and I thought I could replicate this watercolor. That's why for today's video, I will show you how I made this winter land landscape, inspired by the work of Art Splash. First I will show you the materials I used, and then let's do it! I will use paper, a palette, watercolor, container with water, a pencil, a wooden stick, white acrylic paint, an old toothbrush, scotch tape, a couple of brushes, and black permanent marker. Remember that the complete list of materials is in the description box. To begin with, I will set the paper to the surface using scotch tape. Now I will take a pencil to sketch a horizon and a cabin I would say right in the middle of the paper sheet. By the way, this is pretty simple sketch as you can see, I will just draw the roof, the windows and the door in the front. For the next step I will start to apply the watercolor with a brush in the upper part which is going to be the sky. And here I will begin with a very soft base of blue that I prepared in a palette. Using the same technique, I will apply purple with small touches this time and applying it to the edges of the paper. Right down where I draw the horizon, I will apply black watercolor very diluted in water and then with clean water I will drag the color down. Taking a thinner brush than the one I used before, I will apply the same black watercolor to paint some trees in the background, and once I painted three or four, I will take a black watercolor with less water, and therefore the trees will look as if they were closer. Now in the left part of the paper, I will paint one more tree with more intense watercolor this time, and I will use clean water to dilute the base. For the next step, I will apply watercolor in the cabin, and I will start with the roof that I will paint with purple as base, and then I will apply black watercolor, which is going to be the same color I will use for the shadows in the bottom. While this part gets dry, I will make some branches in the trees that I forgot to make before. I will paint the windows and the door taking the watercolor directly from the peel with just a little amount of water in order for the yellow and red brown to look very intense. This is the same thing that I will do for the walls of the cabin that I will paint with light blue. Once the watercolor is completely dry, I will take this black permanent marker with a 03 point that you can see over here to go through some of the details of the cabin, like the windows, the door, and the roof. Now I'm going to take a wooden stick to apply a little amount of white acrylic paint in the trees and in the cabin. I will also make some lines in the sky. As final step, I will take an old toothbrush to splatter white acrylic paint. Oh. 
what do you guys think about this illustration? I can tell you that I am pretty satisfied with the final outcome, and I recommend you that when you admire an artist, try their style. As a matter of fact, you can find the link in the description down below, so that you can go and watch the account of Art Splash in Instagram. Also try this if you are inspired with the seasonal changes, and by the winter, that by the way, I don't like cold at all. And something that I wanted to tell you is that it has been a while since I made this illustration, and I noticed that the colors I used turned opaquer than I intended to, which is something that happens to all watercolors, to be honest. But I think I could have used more colors, for example, uh, in the sky and right in the base of the snow, and therefore the snow I made with the toothbrush and the white acrylic paint would have looked more intense. You can let me know in the comment section down below what do you think, and also also tell me if you have any suggestions to make something in the future. And if you're not subscribed and you would like to be, hit the subscription button, or you can do that on the image that's over here, and turn on the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when there's a new video around. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, and for sharing this content, and I recommend you to see these videos that you may like. Follow me on my social media that's on the screen and in the description box, and I'm off to see you next time. Bye bye!